This is Oddities. Hey, Jeff. Hey. Good to see you. Likewise. Hi, how are you? How have you been? It's been a long time. It Absolutely. certainly has. Genesis is a legendary performance artist. He and his late spouse, Lady J, explored gender identity and altered their bodies to become essentially walking pieces of art. So what brings you in today? We want to raise money to go back to Nepal and find where we can build some kind of health center or right. something that's in memory of Lady J, but actually serves oh, a function. That's lovely. Myself and Lady J are two halves of one being. We call ourselves we. And although her body is no longer with us, we're still we. She is still with me, and our project continues. We decided that we would sell everything we can sell and put the money towards that project. Wonderful. This is actually my most precious possession of any that we've ever had, a 300-year-old Tibetan thigh bone trumpet. Wow. This one is Lady J's, and this one was mine. These were used to call spirits, I believe, right? To call spirits and also for healing. Each one is supposed to be only the thigh bone of a virgin or a murderer. I've read that. So it has to be a virgin who died naturally. Or killed someone, or both. Virgin murder. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From what I was reading about these thigh bones, they cut off the ball end of the joint, and that gave you a nice wide mouthpiece. And then obviously here you can see it's been burned mm -hmm. to melt away the marrow. Have you ever used these in your recordings? Or? We did indeed. Back in 1982, when we were experimenting with ethnic instruments, mm -hmm. we made a recording of 23 layers, and it's incredible. The sound is like the voices of disembodied spirits. Would it trouble you to play it? To try? Yeah. We'll try. I've always kind of wondered what the voice of a 300-year-old disembodied virgin would sound like.